Hello viewers, it's been a while since I did one of these, but today we're doing a how to draw modern Sonic instead of classic Sonic. So, f wait. One second, guys. I had did that wrong. The way we actually do this, and it's blurry, great. Why is my phone going blurry? Well, do I not have a pen or nothing? No. Well, we start off with the nose. What you do that for, then add a little circle inside of that. And if you want, you can start by going down like that. Curve all the way around. And then bring it up a little bit for, for his mouth to be actually like that. That's how his mouth is. Then we curve. Curve down. Curve like that. That's a little bit of a too much of a curve. Like you want to bring it a little bit more in. You see? See what I did wrong right there? So then we make the eye, which is just like an an ovalish thing. And of course I do terribly. There we go. You can do this better, you want to bring that more down, like down here. And you want to have that part right there, like a, as a shine. Then do this. This may look terrible at the end of it, but... You guys, I'm just giving you guys the gist of it. You want to add that thing if you want to make it more detailed. Make a smile. Do that curve, then that curve. Then you add a more triangular thing right up here, which is his ear. One over here, but then you put a little a tinier triangle inside of that to add for like more detail. Bring that around. It's a little bit too far. Yes, even artists make mistakes. You're going to want the curve to look like that. So. I noticed that I'm making it go too far down. You want to erase that. Because this is about where you want to start making it spiked and then curve like that. Then you can continue with more until you get to the final one, which is right here. It goes down more. And if you notice, I've messed up. Something like that is how you're supposed to draw a Sonic. Then we add a little bit of an ovalness right here. If you want, you can make his arms go however you want. So make them like skinny like that. Bring them in like this. Do you want to make the gloves? That. That. Curve. Swiv. That's why I call it a swiv. Then bring that one in. And bring this around. Connect it together. And if you want to have his arm against it, curve like that. Boom. Put a line right here to indicate his um, glove, like his hand and fingers. Spike curve like that. Curve all the way to this glove. Um, connect that together. And we can just do this. Bring that up. And since we already made it down for the um, glove to look like that, we actually don't use the actual shading inside. See how there's a gap in there where his hand goes in? There isn't such thing here. Because it's going up. And we can do this. Bring the finger up. That one down. That 
that's his hands. Now for his feet, just connect after his leg, I mean his hand. Um, and then we go down like this. As you can see, I've messed up once again. Because I am recording this on a phone. Something like that. You see, I made that thing too, I made that line too low, okay? Here, bring this a little bit higher like that. Then, then connect this down. What the hell is wrong with me? Alright, something like that. Line. Line. And since it's down, you know what to do, so let me just skip to that part. Yeah, the socks are supposed to look like that, if you didn't know. Curve. And if you want to add more detail for his shoes and you want him to actually show his shoes, um, I'll just explain it to you once I do it because it's going to be hard to do that with this last piece of paper, so I have to draw it. As you can see, I've curved it to indicate, like, his shoe, so you don't have to worry about, like, making it, like, how his shoes are actually. Then you want to add, like, little details like the shine. And, you know, the strap, so let me just finish this real quick. And there you go. That is how you draw Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, modern Sonic to be exact. So I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. As always, have fun, play some games.